but I promised I would come on and just share my my viewpoints on why women are just many 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 women I'm not gonna say all women, but many women are very very unrealistic about their standards for men dating and marriage men who are hurting a lot of men who are bitter a lot of men who have been or have had their hearts hurt by women took one video i did about some 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 <laughs> some women having too high of expectations and some women being too influenced by social media and that some women are barracudas and some women of all colors not black women i see it in white women puerto rican women all types of women So I am going to give my opinion on this and now listen girls, I'm about to be very raw, I'm about to be very real, I'm about to just shoot it to you as just straight as I can because I'm hoping that this helps somebody, helps somebody, helps somebody. Is when he spoke to her the way he did, I wasn't thinking about no freaking viral video, I'm thinking about her. Her, I'm thinking about this young girl who just had somebody speak to her in such a way that was so belittling and so degrading that if this was my daughter, if this was my child, if this was my niece, if this was somebody I love and I don't know who she is. That men are not women. He's not going to be your best friend like your best girlfriend. You can't talk to him like that. They don't talk like that. They don't talk that much. They're not so sensitive and, and girly the way we are as women. So if you're expecting a man to be all super sensitive and so considerate and just so everything like your girlfriends, you're barking up the wrong tree. He's going to hurt your feelings all the time or else you're going to feel like he doesn't communicate because you're, you're holding these standards like he's a girl. No, I talk from a place of correction. Correction. To say, listen, I know there are women like this, but I also give the other side of things. The other side of things. And at this point, like I'm saying, guys, uh-uh. It's not, would I ever tell somebody you're gonna die alone? Nope. Would I ever tell somebody you're average at best? As you girls know, I'm a matchmaker. And for a large part of uh, the end of last year and beginning of this year, I stopped matchmaking. I stopped matchmaking. I stopped matchmaking. And the reason I stopped matchmaking is because I literally was being, I, I can't handle female clients. I was a matchmaker that matched females and I had a few male clients, but predominantly I was matching women. And listen, what I, it was such a valuable lesson for me because what I learned is that the average woman, the average woman, the average woman, the average woman, would I ever tell somebody you're average at best. The average woman doesn't really want just a good man. She doesn't want a husband. What she's really wanting are these standards or ideas that she has of what a man is supposed to be. I'm not saying that's healthy. I'm saying that at the end of the day, people are out here in love and in relationships and aren't perfect. They aren't a size two. They aren't a size five. I'm just speaking what I know. You don't have to be perfect, right? And I know you're saying she didn't want an average man. You're missing the entire point, Rebecca. I, I understand what you're saying. I'm not talking about her right now. I'm talking about the effect that this stuff has on everyday people who are, are literally watching this stuff and consuming this stuff and then saying and internalizing and saying, I'm, I'm destined to be alone. There's no way I'm ever going to be able to be in a relationship. For who men are, how they think, 
what they value. It's just this preconceived, you know, idea that women have of who men should be. But this is not reality, okay? So literally, the standards here that I see consistently in women that stay single, do not get married, and the difference between women and wives is understanding one, that men are not women. Because there's all of these opinions, nobody's vetted. You don't know what these people's resumes are to be given this advice. They're just on giving their advice. They're on giving their opinions. You don't know what their life experiences is. You don't know what their background is. You Okay, what is the resume? Think about these numbers. Less than 3% less than 14% of the entire American male population is over six foot. Less than 14%, and that's all the married men and the men in prison, all of them girls. So you're sitting around here like, oh, he's gotta be six foot, and he's gotta look like this, and he's gotta make six figures or seven figures. When you start at, just hide alone. Do you hear the percentage that I just gave you on just height? just height and if you add in what he looks like like looking like Idris and making money like this and that honey look you looking for the come up for real because um I don't know where he's at listen if you don't like what I got to say y'all can leave my channel for all I care because you were attracted to this channel off one video and if you watched one video of me and then you became a follower because you thought I was bashing women on my channel from one video then you can go ahead and leave because you don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know my mission. You don't know what I'm about. You don't know. Nelly, now listen, sweetheart. I can say whatever I want on my own channel. It's my channel and I'm not triggered. I'm simply speaking what I know is truth. What I know is truth. What do I know is truth? that I'm married. Anyways, book a session because I don't want to do this in public, man. Because you seem like a sweet woman, but you don't, but you're not getting it. You're being so mean. I'm not being, don't tell me I'm being mean. I've, but I'm about to be mean. I get tired of you broads telling me I'm being mean because you cannot handle the damn truth. You called my show, you called my show, you called my show on a day that you ain't even supposed to be here. And I honored the call and sat here and tried to help you. And I'm telling you, telling me I'm being mean. Get the fuck out of my phone.